Hello, and welcome back to Terrifying Tuesday on 7 Day Gaming. I'm in a much better mood this time around. Game hasn't been giving me any issues recording, and I think we can basically just get straight into it. Now, nothing really scary happened last time. I'm hoping that it's gonna improve. Um, we seem to have a slight issue already. Give me a second. And we're back. I, I just had to tempt fate, right, when I said that it hadn't given me any issues recording. Uh, that was my recording software that just did that. I really like how you can see your character in first person. Well, this doesn't look too bad. <laughs> I hope the memory is close by. I forgot about you, you creepy bastard. <clears throat> Took me a sec to remember the controls. Yes. So this is um, kind of dimly lit, but it's a very pretty area, and it's not scary at all. So I don't know. Maybe they're wrong when they called this a horror game. It was unintentional. Maybe it was a mistranslation. Well, we'll find out. That's okay, I guess that's how you run. Already? Whoa. Over there. It looks like another memory across that bridge. Can't be that simple. Yeah, it take us a really long time to loop around down there? Is that what this is about? your children, and I see a playground, and a seesaw. I'm guessing a physics puzzle of some sort. And drop, and slide. Whee! Is there a way up this tower? There's open. We got a little sandbox here. Eh, don't know why I expected it. Got two owls. I'm guessing everybody else has already made a Hooters joke, so I'm just gonna move on. I uh, hear children. I do not see children. Except for this one, obviously. Ceiling. Underground playground. <clears throat> okay, we got now here. I'm just gonna shut this for safety's sake. Trouble, please. No, 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 come on, come on. There we go. You stop flying back open already. Oh, fuck it. Clearly, does not want that door to be closed. Clearly, it wants that door to be closed. This is where things get scary. Can we get to that point, please? Yeah. Shh. <clears throat> we should be careful. Yeah, you don't say. Now this is creepier. 
dimly lit abandoned playground looks to carpet. Nobody's played here in years. Makes me wonder where all the kids went. Are we sneaking? Yep, trying to sneak. End of the series. Weird. Oh. These controls really suck. They're like penumbra controls. Go back to crawl. Things moving on its own. So far, it's more creepy than scary. Not even that much of that, really. Apparently, we need to stand to move items. Mm. Oh, relax. Nothing's happened so far in this whole freaking game. Halfway between, uh, I mean, in terms of quality, between amnesia and penumbra. I don't know, I didn't. Maybe people found penumbra scarier than I did, but I was too busy being incredibly frustrated by its crappy controls to actually be afraid of it.
Rangers. Drawing of being locked in the... Yeah, it just happened to us. Ten minutes ago. Did we draw that? Because I don't know how we could have drawn that already. I'm just gonna hurry along here. Maybe just like them to pull a jump scare at this point. This is the closest thing we've had to anything actually threatening <laughs> so far. Alright then, one more time. But that's it. She's kinda creepy like that. And I'm not supposed to find her creepy, but you know. It's a xylophone. Oh, finally. We must be getting closer. <laughs> yeah, the humming is making her creepy, too. She wasn't at first, she was just kind of annoying, but... Still not as creepy as you are. We have to find a way to safety. Find a way out of this mess. So... The guy didn't tell me if anything actually happened. Your mother. Your mother! She must be so worried about you. Oh. But don't be afraid. You and me will work this all out together. I, I know we will. Thing now. Well, you know the ropes by now. I'm trying. <laughs> Controls suck. And yes, she sounds clearer now, don't you think? Whoa. Come on, we have no time to lose. Watch your step. <sighs> Whenever you're ready. Apparently I have to pick you up. Think I'm supposed to find you endearing? If I find you creepy, then I find her creepy. So, let's just move on. The only character in this I don't find creepy is the kid, and that's just because it's impossible. Not impossible to find a two-year-old creepy, but just impossible to find this two-year-old creepy. His tiny footed pajamas, making cute noises. He even walks like an actual two-year-old. What is this place? I think we should keep quiet. Agreed. I still don't think anything is going to happen this whole playthrough. Not just because the characters too, but because this is feeling kind of like a walking simulator. <clears throat> it's flashing. Flashing. Guess that means we can pick it up. So his pictures in the last one, as his puzzle pieces in this one. Those floaty things, they look like memories. I guess. Maybe the next one is behind those roots. Yeah, but how do we clear the roots? Do we have to climb over them? Is this like a one-way thing? Let's be right cloth here. 
Okay, we can climb up here. Can we climb over? No, but this is activate. Oh. Oh. So it's like the owls, not the not the pictures. I thought it was just a collectible. Eh, well. Those are just empty picture frames. Girl on a bridge. She's leaning off. This is much creepier than the playground. I don't know, playgrounds at night without kids in them don't creep me out as much as they're supposed to. Because I actually spent quite a bit of time in empty playgrounds as a kid. I guess you could say they weren't empty because I was there, but I was the only one. And especially at night. Usually have good connotations for me rather than bad ones. So, this doesn't creep me out. Just, just go there and wait for people. Specific people. It's just that's their favorite meeting place. Drawers. These drawers have... Is that... Petty? Ah, oh, they're roots. <laughs> you know, I have actually seen teddy bears that did light up. They usually were quite a bit more refined looking than this fruit piece of fabric, but, you know. Still. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. It's a toy. I think I may actually have more childhood memories than, uh, than most people, but I don't really have much to base that on. I also have earlier memories, too. Well, that's rude. Trying to warm up in here. Hmm. A little happy juice. And of course, it's red and whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, it's probably whiskey anyway. Not really my thing. More of a wine drinker myself. Yeah, hey, a friend that really likes whiskey, uh whiskey though, so the pictures are just gonna be a continuous thing. Try and pick those up. Do I get anything for picking those up? Should I even be caring? Just be ditching it. I don't think it's... It's probably not going to affect the end. Because when my friend praised the game for me, he said, uh... Yeah, he said the high points were story-related, so... I don't see how that could be worked into a good story. The collectibles affecting the ending, I mean. I always found that, like, really super annoying. But then, that's just a personal thing, so I don't know. What's up? Oh. Take cover. 
I don't think anything's coming. It's just... Ah, oh, got a twinge in my back. Ow! Got a twinge in my back. Ah! Just plan smart. Whether I think anything's actually gonna happen or not. Which, for the record, I don't. Why can we not? There we go. And now some measures of the moon high. Can we even die? Can we even get over this board? Is this a one-way board? Fucking back. I'm just gonna move back to this area's hub. I know this is a shorter uh, episode, but... This place feels... Yeah, let's not dwell here for too long. Uh, this is a shorter episode, but I got some stuff I gotta resolve here around the house, so... I have to stop recording now. And it looks like we're heading towards a new area anyway, so... Again, it's always a shorter episode, but, uh... I'll try and make it a longer one next time. And I'll see you guys, uh, see you guys next week. Take it easy.